Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss about mass percentage. It is one of the units used to express the concentration of a component in a mixture. It can also be used to express the concentration of an element in a compound or molecule. Its formula can be given mass percentage of a component in a solution is equal to mass of component divided by total mass of all components in the solution and multiplied by 100. In case when we express mass percentage in terms of solute or solvent in a solution, the formula can be given mass percentage of a solute is equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution and multiplied by 100. In terms of solvent, then we put here at the top mass of solvent divided by mass of solution and multiplied by 100. Let's say I have a 10% glucose solution, glucose solution in water. Since percentage is there, then total quantity of uh, the solution is going to be 100 gram because whenever a component is given in percentage, then entire quantity of the solution is taken as 100. Here 10% glucose is there, it means that 10 gram glucose is present in the solution and rest is going to be water out of 100. Simply we can subtract 10 from 100 and it will give us the quantity of water, means 90 gram water solvent is present in 100 gram solution in which 10% glucose is there, means its quantity is 10 gram. You can see that how we calculate the unknown quantity of component in the solution by using mass percentage concept. Well, basically this method is used in chemical industry to measure the mass percentage of solid components in a solution. Well, now let me take you to some practice problems in which I will show you how you can use this formula and calculate the mass percentage of an element in a compound or molecule. This is a problem given here and it says that what are the mass percentage of carbon? This is one component and uh, and uh, oxygen this is another component in carbon dioxide this is a molecule given and in this molecule two elements are present carbon and oxygen here you can see that no data is provided here then we can use the atomic mass well the atomic mass of carbon is the atomic mass atomic uh, mass of uh, carbon is 12.01 gram per mole it means that one mole carbon has 12.01 gram mass an atomic mass of uh, oxygen is 16.0 and gram per mole. You can see that in the formula there are two moles of oxygen atom. That's why we multiply the atomic mass of oxygen by two. And here it gives us 32.0 gram per mole. Well, now we got the mass of uh, these elements present in this molecule. We can add up the mass of uh, these elements to calculate total mass of uh, this molecule carbon dioxide 12 point uh, here we have 12.01 and 32.00 it gives us 44.01 here we get 44.01 and gram per mole it means that one mole co2 has 44.01 gram mass now we can apply mass percentage formula one by one for each component element here we have carbon for carbon we apply mass percentage formula mass percentage of carbon will be mass of carbon at the top we put mass of carbon that is 12.01 gram divided by total mass total mass of the molecule here we have co2 and its total mass is 44.01 and gram and multiplied by 100 you can divide this value and multiply by 100 you will get 27 percent means that uh, carbon is present in CO2 by 27 percent. Now next we calculate the mass percentage of oxygen we follow the same concept mass percentage of oxygen is equal to mass of oxygen here we have mass of oxygen for two moles of oxygen here we have 32.0 and it is gram and so divided by total mass of uh, molecule here we have 44 this value 44.01 and gram multiplied by 100. You can divide this value and multiply by 100, it will give us 73%. If you add up this value, you can see that it will reach 100% for the solution. This is how we calculate uh, the concentration of uh, an element in a molecule by using mass percentage. Now let me take you to another problem. 
द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट एन एक्वा सोल्यूशन कंटेंस थर्टी परसेंट बाई मास एथनॉल हेयर वी हैव थर्टी परसेंट मास इज बाई मास मीन्स हेयर वी हैव एथनॉल इज प्रेजेंट बाई थर्टी परसेंट इन द सोल्यूशन एंड क्वेश्चन से इज दैट वॉट मास ऑफ एथनॉल इज प्रेजेंट इन वन फिफ्टी ग्राम ऑफ सोल्यूशन टोटल मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज गिवन हीयर एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द मास ऑफ सोल्यूट Here we have mass absolute, and mass percentage is given here. Well, let's apply mass percentage formula. Mass percentage here we have thirty is equal to mass of ethanol for which we are going to calculate. I mention here mass of ethanol, mass of uh, ethanol, and divided by total mass of solution. Total mass of solution here we have one fifty gram, one fifty. And say multiplied by hundred. This is the formula. We plugged in the known values in the formula. Now we can do the calculation. We can do the cross multiplication and say here we have mass of uh, ethanol is equal to here yeah, this value will go on left side at the top here we have thirty multiplied by one fifty and hundred will go at the bottom zero zero will cancel out and see so you can multiply these numbers fifteen three is a forty five this is the mass of ethanol means solute in one fifty gram solution now let me take you to last problem. Here it says that an aqueous solution contains 700 gram water. Here you can see that mass of solvent is given and 45 gram sodium hydroxide. This is solute. Its mass is also given. From this data we can calculate the total mass of solution. Simply we can add up these values. Here we have 700 plus 45. You can add up 745 gram. This is the mass of solution. Well. we have calculated this data because in mass percentage ultimately we are going to calculate the mass of solution now the question says that what is the percent by mass of sodium hydroxide it means that we have to calculate mass percentage of sodium hydroxide that is a solute in the solution let's apply the formula mass percentage and so sodium hydroxide is equal to mass of sodium hydroxide it is given in the problem that is 45 g here we have 45 g Divided by total mass of the solution. Here we have calculated already that is 745 gram, and multiplied by 100. Gram gram will cancel out. You can divide these values and multiplied by 100, you will get 6 percent. It means that sodium hydroxide is present by 6 percent in the solution. In case if you have to calculate the mass percentage of water, that is solvent, then simply you can subtract 6 from uh, 100, and it will give you 94 percent uh, water. it means that 94% um, uh, water is present in in the solution well this is how we calculate mass percentage of a component in a solution we divide the mass of an individual component by the total mass of solution and multiplied by 100 thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on iit je or neat exams Please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.